So, I, I kind of skipped the weekend because I bought um, Elder Scroll Online. So, I was busy all weekend. And I didn't have to work. So, I was really busy all weekend. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, but, back into making videos. And I would like to make some of it up. Perhaps I'll make one up today and make one up tomorrow. I don't know. I can do two videos a day for two days in a row, maybe. Um, but, uh, well, the thing that's going on right now with Joe Biden made me giggle. I figured I'd cut a quick one. Just a <laughs> quick fart. Just to uh, talk about that. Now, I remember creepy Uncle Joe Biden uh, from, you know, ten years ago when he was creepy Uncle Joe Biden and he was running for vice president and there was like little girls that he was kind of like touching and rubbing and like you look at the pictures and you, you go that makes me uncomfortable and I'm looking at a picture you know what I mean and you kind of look at these these girls and and they don't always look like they're as into it maybe as he is so He's kind of a creepy fucking dude, right? Um, and the question has to be asked: Well, is he is he a you know is he a sex offender, or is he just a creepy weird guy? You know what I mean? There's a lot of creepy weird guys out there. Not all of them are sex offenders. Some of them are just fucking creepy and weird. They just don't really know how to get along with people. And like you know, everybody has them in their life. You have those relatives that like maybe you see when you're like two right and then they come back around for whatever reason when you're like 16 and then they're like oh I remember the last time I saw you you were two and you go yeah and then they kind of like act like you know you're a, a niece or nephew or whatever that they've been involved in your life for years and like they get really personal and it's like I don't fucking I don't fucking know you. Like I know you know me. But I don't fucking know you. Like this is getting awfully personal for me. I'm very uncomfortable having this kind of a conversation with you because you're a total fucking stranger to me. I understand your role in my life, but what you don't understand your role in my life is fucking nothing. Like, you know, those kind of relatives. That that you know, oh give me a hug and it's like know who the hell you are. Like, I'm a very huggy person. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't care. I'll hug anybody. I don't give a shit. But, like, I don't, I don't, like, massage people's shoulders. Like, I do it, but I do it knowing it's gonna be weird, and I do it because it's, you know, I'm trying to make the person feel weird. You know what I mean? Like, you walk up behind your, your boss at work, who's a dude, and you go, uh, how you doing today? You having a good day today? And like, you know, and he goes, okay, why are you touching me? Like, you know, just to kind of fuck with him, because it's funny, right? But I wouldn't do that with like a girl. Because you don't want to be like purposefully creepy with a girl, because that can be taken odd ways. And unintentionally creepy can also be taken odd ways too. So this girl comes out and says, he, he, what, what did he do? He grabbed, he, like, put his hands on her shoulder and, like, smelled her hair, which, that, as far as I am concerned, smelling the hair is the, oh, oh yeah, I made it home with my sandwich. No, you, you, you've done something bad at that point, and no matter what you say, I'm going to know it's a lie because nobody gets beat up and then takes their hand sandwich home and no normal person who's not creepy smells somebody's hair. Like, I've done that with my girlfriends before. You know, laying in bed and you, like, lean over and you get a whiff of, you know, shampoo or whatever and you... You know, smell good today. You know, but that's like my girlfriend. 
and we're already in bed together. So it's not like at this point, you know, I don't do that with like girls I just meet. I don't do that with girls that I just know. I certainly don't do that with girls that I work with. Like if I catch a whiff of something that smells good, I might look at them and go, mm, you smell good, what is that? But I'm not gonna be like, where's that coming from? Ugh, that's so fucking weird. But yeah, so okay, so he grabs her shoulders, smells her head, and then like kissed her on the forehead or kissed her on the back. I don't, I don't exactly know whether he was behind her or in front of her. I don't, I, I don't know the exact setup. It wasn't played out for me. But he he grabbed her shoulders, smelled her hair, and then kissed her on her head. And now this is like a co-worker, essentially. He's, he's the vice president, and she is running for office. Or he's... Was he the vice president at that point, or was it... I, I don't fucking remember. But he's either going to be... He's the fucking vice president. And she's running for some sort of office. He's there to support her in that. So it's kind of... I mean, this is very much like a business thing. So, like, you don't you do not do that with your co-workers, because that's fucking weird. <sighs> so, creepy Joe Biden... You know, being called out for being creepy again. And I knew this was going to happen. I, I, I figured they were going to wait until he actually announced that he was going to be running. And then it took so fucking long for him to announce that he was going to be running that I was kind of like, oh, we might not get to hear all the creepy Joe Biden stories. Because I was looking forward to that. Because I, I knew that that was coming. Again, I was alive 10 years ago. Oh, I remember. So, yeah, I was really looking forward to that. And then, he kind of announced that he was tentatively thinking that if he was going to announce, he was going to announce... I think he had to announce either by April 5th or before April 5th or... Uh, something like that, or after April 5th, I don't know. There's some sort of, like, fundraising deadline. Apparently they fundraise in waves or something. I, I, I don't fucking know. But there's some sort of fundraising something. And Joe Biden wanted to get in at a point when he could get in and get, like, a huge amount of money raised right off the bat, right? We need a huge amount of money. We got to beat Beto. I think Beto is the man to beat for gaining money immediately. Which, again, is just one of those things that I kind of think about when I'm at work and I think to myself, is that really what you want to be bragging about when you're running for president as a Democrat? All the money you're raising? And how fast you're raising it? Like, I don't know. It just, it has kind of a weird sound to me. You know, it's just kind of like, this is a competition amongst them. How much money can I make to run for president? Whatever. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So then he said that he was going to probably announce this month. And then I was like, oh boy. We get to hear all the creepy Joe Biden stories. Apparently I was wrong. We're going to hear him before he announces. Just the threat of Joe Biden saying that he's thinking about announcing within the next couple of weeks was enough for all manner of shit to just fucking pop off. And now everybody's coming out with their creepy Joe Biden stories. And then there's the counter creepy Joe Biden stories where, you know, oh, I didn't think he was creepy. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I mean, unless somebody comes out and is like, oh, I, he assaulted me, like, for real, I, you know, these are, I mean, he smelled her hair and kissed her on the forehead or back of the head or whatever. Like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, she felt uncomfortable, and I, I recognize that, but I felt uncomfortable a lot around people, too. And it's something that you go, ooh, and you fucking move on with life. Or, you look at them at the moment and go, yeah, I'm not really uncomfortable, like, very comfortable with that. Like, you should be able to have the ability to say that to other people, no matter what their station is. Because, believe me, 
it's it's far better for them to go oh oh I'm very very sorry very very sorry and then never fucking make us think about it again and just go oh it's far better for them that way because you know the other way is far better for you if if they then ruin your life or something like that right and then you come out and say this happened and ever since then this motherfucker's ruined my life well now they look really bad because now they're definitely guilty you know it's it, again taking the sandwich home there's little clues in there where you can kinda go hmm. you know smelling the hair took the sandwich home this happened and now my life has been ruined and I can directly link it to this person oh yeah they're guilty you know yeah, little little red flags but eh, I don't know I don't know it's just it's so weird because it's so nothing like I mean yeah it's it's creepy yeah it's uncomfortable but I mean we're not gonna arrest him are we you know this should this seriously affect his his presidential run if he chooses to make one eh, I mean that's debatable do you want creepy Uncle Joe fucking going over to North Korea and and getting his hands all over Kim Jong-un's sister apparently she's a very nice lady he might like to smell her hair. I don't know. But I did think it was funny. A lot of similarities uh, between him and Donald Trump at this point. Apparently, he kissed a girl. He didn't even wait. Pretty girls. He, he just kisses them. He doesn't even wait. Just like Donald Trump. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that'll be his defense. Maybe, maybe, maybe Joe Biden can go to Donald Trump and go, "How did you get around the whole? I don't even wait. I kiss him line." And Donald Trump will go, "I just ignored it." <laughs> With all the other shit that was going on, uh, grab him by the pussy was a hell of a lot more popular than "I just kiss him. I don't even wait." But yeah, uh, I don't know. Fucking just made me laugh because I knew this was gonna happen. I knew Bernie Sanders is going to get some shit. Apparently he's sexually assaulted some girl in some way on some campaign trail somewhere. And Joe Biden, he's creepy. Can't have him. I knew they were all going to start tearing each other apart immediately. Elizabeth Warren, poor Elizabeth Warren, she's already out. Man, she went down quick. Yeah, that's how you hunt buffalo. <laughs> You take out the stragglers first. <laughs> the other candidates running for president are more Native American than she is because they know how to take down Buffalo. Ugh. Poor Elizabeth Warren. But yeah, so there you go. Um, <laughs> creepy Joe Biden. I thought that was fucking fantastic. When they were talking about him thinking about running, I was like, oh, great. Get to hear all the creepy Joe Biden stuff. But I mean, uh, whatever. So far, it's fucking nothing. He's, he's a creepy dude. He did creepy things. And his... Oh, wait. Hold on. One last thing before we go. His... his uh, he responded to these allegations. And he essentially said, I'm a very touchy-feely person, and I don't believe that I'm ever inappropriate. If you thought I was inappropriate... I'd be more than happy to listen to you. Pretty much that what he said. So essentially what he said was, my intentions as far as I'm concerned are what it is, what you feel doesn't matter. And if you would like to tell me that what you feels matter about my actions more than what I feel about my actions, I'm willing to listen to that. But I'm probably still going to tell you to go fuck yourself because I'm running for president, bitch. That's kind of what I heard, but, you know, whatever. Take it how you will.
But yeah, it was very funny. I, I didn't intend to be creepy. And there, like, so many women have come out saying, it doesn't fucking matter what you intend. Like, a rapist could say, well, I didn't intend to rape her. I just intended to have sex with her. It's her fault it became a rape. No. Uh-uh. That's, no. That's not how it works, man. You can say or do whatever you want to any person. But it's how they respond to it and react to it that makes, the, it, it, it sets the tone for what continues from there. So, if he didn't believe that he's creepy, well, good for him. But unfortunately, everybody disagrees with you, my man. Everybody kind of thinks you're creepy. We've seen the pictures, we've watched the video, you're kind of fucking creepy. And you need to stop touching women and smelling their hair. Because it's fucking weird. Uh-uh. No. -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> and I'm sorry, my dude. We can't give you the pass on, well, it's her fault that she took it that way. That that opens up a large can of, can of worms that that we just can't have wriggling around. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kind of laugh at you on that one and go, well, that's. I'm glad you think that way. <laughs> so you know whatever, but yeah. Here we go, 2020. It's only April. <laughs>